Okay, this is the electronic siren controller that I've been working on. Uh, just a quick run through of how it works, how all, what all the uh, different sections of it do. Um, if you need any clarification on a specific, on a specific area of it, I I can clarify. Uh, but uh, it's not likely that I'm going to draw out the whole schematic for it. Um, this isn't even the whole circuit actually, there's also a simple processor design that uh, is used to allow the possibility for remote activation and also um, controls the timing on the high-low, the attack signal and all that. So, Alright, so on the top left here is the LM565 which I'm using the VCO section of that uh, to generate a high frequency which is then divided uh, it's divided by 10 and by 12 um, by this whole circuit right here, which gives a minor third uh, dual tone signal. Um, generally, uh, if, if you want a dual tone signal, you're going to have to use frequency dividers because trying to get two oscillators exactly synchronized is uh, would probably be not even possible or uh, difficult in the least. Anyway, these uh, these four integrated circuits right here, uh, we got two binary counters, uh, a quad two input AND gate, and then a dual JK flip flop, and uh, basically one of the counters counts from zero to four, and the other one counts from zero to five, um, and then the dual JK is uh, both of the inputs are wired to the power supply, so it basically acts as a toggle flip flop, which divides the signal from the counters by two. Um, so the end result is uh, one tenth of the oscillator frequency and one twelfth of the oscillator frequency, um, and then both of these signals have a fifty percent duty cycle um, square wave. So uh, from there, I'm just taking the signal and going to this uh, op amplifier here. Um, it's wired for unity gain, so basically it's just acting as a buffer from the digital section to the power amplifier. Um, I don't remember the model that this power amplifier is, but uh, it's, uh, I believe it can, <clears throat> I think it can dissipate 50 watts, but since I don't have a heat sink on it, I've only got it hooked up to 12 volts, um, so it's not 100% capacity right now, but, uh, anyway, um, the power amplifier is not really specific to getting a, the, to the tone generator section, but, um, anyway, at the right here, um, Basically, a 556 five, timer. I'm using half of that. Um, basically, that just it's set up for mono stable, which once you trigger it, it stays on for a certain amount of time and then it turns off forever until you trigger it again. Um, uh, that is controlling a relay, which uh, using a voltage divider um, on each input of that controls how much voltage is going to this capacitor here, which controls the VCO, so it makes the pitch go up and down and all of that. Finally, this right here is a quad comparator. Um, basically, when the voltage on the capacitor gets too low, uh, it shuts off, or it turns the power amplifier into standby mode, which turns off the output to the speaker. Um, so basically, that's just the low frequency cutoff. You don't want it, the frequency to just to get too low for the speaker, although I'm not really worried about that right now. And then... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.